Hello students, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to Sports Management English at Nam Sol University. I hope you're all doing very fine now that spring has finally sprung. A um, couple of things, well you guys know that some students are starting back to Nam Sol University this semester, uh, this week. Um, the practical classes are starting, but I don't know why uh, our class is not starting on campus. I really wanted to see you guys, but our class is not starting. So I don't know what Namsol is doing. I don't know why Namsol is doing it, but they have some kind of plan. But I'm very, very sorry. I think some of you asked me if we're going to have class this week, and I said yes. But I didn't know because Namsol told me, all practical classes are starting. Uh, so for me, our class is a practical class because we have a conversation, right? But they said it's not practical. So I don't know why. Uh, I don't understand it, guys and girls, but that's what they told me. So unfortunately, for now, um, we are just still going to be online. We're still going to be online, okay? So I'm sorry to say but what can we do? What can we do, right? Um, so a couple of things we're going to talk about today. We're going to have a similar week to last week. I have some, although we have bad news, there's no class. I do have some good news. Well, it's good news for you guys coming up pretty soon. Um, I'll let you know exactly about what that good news is very, very soon. Okay? Okay. Okay, so today's agenda, we're going to be talking about Zoom class. Remember, we have a Zoom class. Um, since we don't have a real class, I think it's a good idea to do Zoom, right? It's a good idea to do Zoom. I'm going to do some reminders about some other things. I want to remind you guys about some things coming up. We're going to talk about the cover letter. Do you remember last week we talked about resume? Do you remember resume? Most of you have probably done it or started it, right? I told you you had two weeks to do your resume. Since this is a business class, I want to teach you guys a little bit about business. Um, this week we're going to talk about a cover letter. A cover letter is very, very similar to uh, a resume or it's part of the package of a resume. It's a kind of letter that you, that you prepare when you're trying to get a job. Okay, uh, so we're going to talk about that today, and we're going to talk about job talk and job interviews, okay, to prepare for our kind of final assignment, final assignment. So that's our basic talk for today. Uh, we might talk about a couple of other things if I remember. Sometimes I, I remember things uh, halfway through and I add them to the PowerPoint, I add them to the video. Uh, but uh, I, th I think I've got everything here. Okay. Okay, so don't forget about the Zoom class. So our Zoom class is on May 14th for us. Uh, uh, I, I had put this slide in last week to remind you guys. Remember, in the Zoom class, you know, I know it's kind of early. It's 10 a.m. and many students are not sleeping early, right? So you might be kind of tired when you come to Zoom class, I understand. Um, but uh, I want you guys, if you want to get the points, you have to turn on your camera and you have to speak at least three times in the class if you want to get the full participation points. This is a participation to see how well you're taking part in class. So I really, really would appreciate if you turn on your camera and you look at me and speak and talk to the other students, okay? Now, you don't have to come to Zoom class. It's not necessary. You can sleep. That's fine. But you're not going to get participation points if you don't come and participate. Some of you, it doesn't matter, maybe you can get an A on everything and other students will get a bad score. It's possible, it doesn't matter, 
but if you get if you get a C and you didn't come to Zoom class, then you can understand other students did very well in the Zoom class. So again, you don't have to come. I can't make you come, and I don't I don't want to push you to come if you have if you're really busy. I don't want to push you to come if you're not ready to participate. But um, you know, if you do come, you're going to have more chances to get an A. It doesn't mean if you come, you'll get an A. No, it doesn't mean that. But if you do come, you're going to have many cho chances to get an A. And we do not do Zoom every week, right? We just do it every other week. So I like to give you a break, uh, not too stressful and just give an opportunity to, to talk and have a conversation in Zoom class. Last week, sports business, they were not too talkative um, the last time. Okay, so remember we talked about Zoom last week. Look, uh, look back at last week's video and we talked about the PlayStation NBA uh, 26, 2K16 game, right? And we were talking about uh, tattoos, right? And who owns the tattoo artwork in those games? Do you remember that conversation? Yes. So I asked you guys to prepare some questions. Who do you think owns the artwork? We said the tattoo artists, the players, or the game makers, the people who made the PlayStation game. Who do you think owns the artwork? So there was a kind of argument about that. Who gets the money from that? Who gets the money from that artwork? Because the tattoo is a kind of creation by the tattoo artist. So I asked you to write down what your opinion is and why. Okay. The artist, the players, or the people who make the game, who does it belong to really in your opinion? And I wanted you to answer, what do you think about the players who, who get tattooed? Do you have a negative opinion? I remember I went to the mountain in Korea and I had a small tattoo in some ajushi called me Gangpe. Gangpe. Do you think everybody with tattoo is Gangpe? I know tattoo has become a lot more popular in Korea these days, right? And would you ever get a tattoo? Do you want to get a tattoo? Why or why not? What's your opinion of tattoos? Would you get one, maybe a small one? And what design do you want? What kind of design would you like to get? Uh, to bring us a picture, if you have it. So we can talk about that in Zoom class if we have time. Okay, good news. The good news. Uh, there's no quiz. I said we were going to have a quiz similar to the first quiz, but I'm going to cancel that quiz because I think you guys have too much to do. Okay, so no quiz. Yay, right? You're excited? Yes, I'm sure you're very excited about that. Uh, no quiz this time. Uh, we're going to do something else. You guys have your resume. Prepare for the Zoom assignment. Upload your resume by May 18th and you're going to upload your cover letter by May 17th. So your your resume and your cover letter is going to be like the quiz. I think if we have a resume and cover letter assignment, you don't need to worry about taking a quiz, right? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. We already have one quiz. We just had a midterm test and we're going to have a final test. So uh, it's not really something I don't want to make your life too crazy. OK, I don't want to make your life too, too crazy. So no quiz, no quizzes, uh, but don't forget to upload your assignments, upload your assignments. You should be able to upload your resume right now. I haven't made a section yet for your cover letter, but I will very, very soon. I will let you, I will upload that very, very soon. OK, so uh, please upload your resume without any mistakes.
Okay, last week we talked about the resume. This week we're going to speak more about your cover letter. So remember we said a resume is a way to sell yourself, to sell yourself to the company that you want to work for. They're paying for you, right? So present yourself not just as a product, not just as a thing to buy, but as a person, a person who is perfect to work for this company. You're going to tailor the cover letter to your position at the company. So every cover letter for every job is going to be a little bit different. You're going to make it a uh, uh, special, right? So um, to tailor in this way is like the Korean verb. Um, I think it is like machuda, uh, right? To to make it special, machuda. To tailor your cover letter to this particular job. So your cover letter is going to be different for your job at, you know, NBA marketing than it is going to be for your job at um, Loteria, right? Every time it's going to be different. Sometimes you're going to change it a lot and sometimes you're going to change it a little bit, but it's always going to be a bit different if you really, really want to get that job. Okay. And you can see here at the bottom, there are examples here, two different examples. Here, of course, is uh, your um, resume. That is your resume, if you, you remember from last week. Hopefully you've uploaded that or you will upload it very, very soon. Okay. And the letter to the person you want to hire you, this is, this is like your cover letter. This is your cover letter. This is your attempt to sell yourself to the person who you want to hire you. Okay, our agenda for talking about the cover letter, first we're going to talk about cover letter basics. What is a cover letter? What is the basic way to do it? How do we write it? We're preliminary research, so that means early research. How to find out what you're going to put inside of your cover letter, find out about the job. Then talk about the header. Okay, the header of course is the top of your cover letter. The first paragraph working as a kind of introduction, okay, showing your interest about this position. The middle, the most important information, you know, why you fit this job. And a conclusion, a conclusion, okay, along with uh, language uh, and your some extra tips like what kind of language to use in this cover letter and some extra tips that might help your cover letter stand out. Remember those people just look at your resume for just 10 seconds, 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Cover letter is very very similar. They're going to skim your cover letter. They're going to skim it. S-K-I-M. Remember, skim is to look and read something very quickly. If they see something that they like, they're going to look at it longer. So we're going to think about what's the kind of language that we can use that's going to make them want to look at your resume a little bit longer. Hmm? Well, let's think about that. So that is our agenda for today. Okay, so the cover letter basics. Basics introduction to what is a cover letter and how do we write it. A cover letter expresses interest uh, and your qualifications for a job. So what are qualifications? What are qualifications? Well, qualifications, Koreans sometimes use a sort of Konglish word. It means like um, spec, right? your specifications. In English, we might say this qualifications. Why are you qualified for this job? 
why should you do why should you be chosen for this job what is your special history that makes you the correct one for this job okay make it personal but professional so it's personal it's tailored it's all about you but it's still professional shows the distance between a you know a, a junior and a senior it should fit this position in this company remember we said your cover letter for loteria should be different than your cover letter for uh nike or for samsung your cover letter for yeah your cover letter for nike should be different from your cover letter for samsung your cover letter for samsung should be different than your cover letter for um you know uh, Tunam uh, educate uh, schools it fits what that company wants you try to show that you can fit your skills and your abilities can fit that company explains how you fit the organization and how you'll help them yeah again it's basically the same thing how do you as a person fit them it expands some of the main points from your resume so the main points like the most important job experience that you've had you talk about that job experience and you show how does it fit their company and again it sells qualifications to the prospective employer it sells your qualifications to that employer Okay. So your preliminary research, preliminary means like early or first or planning research. So make sure that you know the general job information. What is the general information about this job? Where is it and what kind of work is it? And make sure you know what kind of qualifications and skills they want if your background is in marketing but they want somebody whose background is in sales the qualifications might be different now you can still apply for that job if you think you can do it but you're going to need to make your cover letter a little bit different right it's going to have to fit what they want you're going to have to focus on the key important values and words that they like. So they really are worried about customer service or they're really worried about creativity or they're really worried about global brand. Uh, so find out what is their key values and words that they want in this job that they focus on in their company. If you do this research, it's going to help you tailor your cover letter. You're going to look for like a mission statement. Do you know exactly what is a mission statement? Well, of course, statement is a kind of sentence, right? So a mission statement means something like, uh, what can I say in Korean? Uh, I think there's a couple of different ways to say it in Korean. Um, I think like, Samyong uh, Sonomun can be one like something about what what do we want uh, what do we want what are we trying to accomplish this is the company's mission statement in many companies say like something different for this right um, we want to provide customer service to sportsmen in Korea well, that's a mission statement So here's an example, a diagram of a very simple cover letter. So at the top, we have your address. This is your address, okay? Juso, your Juso. The next, the date. And at the bottom, we have the Juso and name, the address of the person who you're writing to. So John Chang, Nike Marketing HR Center, 2105 Lakeside Drive, New York, New York. So you're gonna have to find that information. Usually it's going to be in the job ad. Okay. 
So, dear Mr. Chang, after speaking with Susan Yu about her first past summer in the internship program, I'm very interested in your sports marketing summer internship position. I worked with sports brand marketing this past summer and became very interested in the planning of advertisements. I have attained many leadership opportunities while working as a manager at a marketing firm in Korea. Okay, so this is this is a marketing position and I've worked as a marketing manager. You're tailoring your cover letter to what they want. As business marketing assistant manager at Korea Sports Association, my primary role, my big role, is to help design new marketing campaigns. I work directly with customers to design campaigns that fit their business. I also work with graphic designers and communicate the customer's wishes to them. I also organize business meetings between the customers and higher level managers. I previously worked, okay, so they've talked about how their first job, their most important job, marketing manager, is similar to the new job they want at Nike. So they're telling everything that they did, right? They're selling themselves, making themselves be more likely to get the job. But next, she also worked at Lotteria as a manager. It's not as important, but it could be a little bit important for this job, right? So she says next, I also previously worked at Lotteria in Seoul, Korea, where I was a manager. In this high stress environment, I managed a crew of 23 employees and gained a lot of experience with customer service. My position at Lotteria as a team leader also challenged me to use my enthusiastic personality to motivate incoming employees to learn their position quickly. So I used this, this job, taught me how to use my enthusiastic personality to motivate people. As a marketing manager in your company, I could use my skills to grow your company. Okay, so conclusion, the closing, the end. Okay, thank you for considering me for this position. I would love to discuss these and other qualifications with you. If you have any questions, please call me or email me. Sincerely, and we talked about sincerely before in business greetings, right? In G Park, in enclosure, when you write enclosure at the end, that's talking about something you enclosed. You included a resume or you included references. Remember we spoke about references before people who know you, sometimes you're going to write that at the bottom, something that you um, include. Include. That way they, they know what you've included and they're not going to miss it. Okay, this is the header. Remember, this is what goes at the top of your cover letter. Just like in your resume, you had a header. Remember, a header is at the head. It's at the head. Make sure you address the letter to a specific person, preferably the interviewer, but maybe you don't know. But you have to say the person's name. Not just anybody, but you have to say the person's name exactly. Include your street address, right? Gil, Boshi, and now your state. And in, in, if you're writing to a job in the United States, then your state is like New York, Ohio, California, Illinois, Texas, so 50 states. In Korea, that's of course province, Gyeonggi-do, Gangwon-do, Jeju-do, and so on, right? In your uh, zip code, I guess is Punji, right? Like a number your, uh, that they find your exact district with. Uh, the date. What is the date and the name of the person you're talking to, their title, whether they're marketing manager or HR, human resources manager, or a professor, the organization like Samsung Electronics or um, uh, National Basketball Association, their street address, 
their city, state, and zip code, and then dear Miss, Mr., Doctor, Professor, um, and so on. So all this 